We got part two on, on Curse and David Barber out here at the Arizona State Fair. Let me show you on some basic sign painter scripts on how to not do it in one whack to go back over and sculpt it. This kind of lettering is not too squirrely. more straight and even. I'm not too thugged out and gangster. <laughs> this is called going back over your lettering and building it up. Okay. I'll show you another version of that up here. And we're just switching up the lettering style, switching up how we do it. And just going back over it and re sculpting it. Okay, and this is how I do it normally in one whack. As you can see, the difference. But the key is consistency, evenness, straight. All the way through. That's how we do it. This takes many years to master. I've been airbrushing since I was 14 years old. I started painting professionally in the live in the, in the mall live in front of people when I was 15 years old. Now I'm 29 years old. So it takes a lot of dedication, many years to maximize and get total control over the use of this airbrush. It doesn't happen overnight. I've seen some people pick it up with a year. I've seen some people with real good lettering on paper pick it up faster because they've already learned how to do lettering and all they got to learn how to do now is, is control the airbrush. With me when I was 14 I had horrible penmanship. So I had two things I had to learn. Penmanship and control of the airbrush. So for me it was even twice as hard and it took me a little longer to really get good at lettering. But once I got there it was full speed ahead. Okay David let's show a little more feature of you airbrushing. And let's see if you can take it to the next level just with what you learned here. Let's see if you can write Brianna one more time right here. Just uh, taking what I, or up there, whatever's easier for you. I mean, I'd lower this for you. Just taking what we talked about and applying it to the t-shirt. Go ahead and take your time. Nice, much better. As you can see, he's going all the way to the bottom with the thick line. And that's how we do it. Very nice. Anything you'd like to say to all the YouTubers out there? So what's up? All right, that's it. So let me go ahead and hand the camera back to David. So that's how we do it here. You know, I do give lessons one-on-one -on -one if you're local. If not, fly on down here. I give airbrush lessons. But uh, keep checking out my YouTube my YouTube page. I got a wealth of information on there. You're gonna pick up something. It's very entertaining and very educational. But go ahead and support my DVD. I got a great DVD coming out. It's for uh, beginner airbrushes, but there's something in there for everybody. Uh, beginner airbrushers, intermediate, advanced artists. It, it talks about control. We feature uh, key airbrush designs for t-shirts. We talk about lettering styles, advanced lettering techniques, how to fix a bent needle, how to make an airbrush manifold, all kinds of great information that's on there. So if you're a beginner or an advanced artist, there's something on there for you. Until next time, guys, you have a good one. I'll catch you later.